after doing this guys your other name will be prosperity your other name will be grace when grace locates you there's nothing that you ever lack in this life when god's grace fall upon you nothing that will slow in your life anymore hello everyone welcome back to my channel thanks so much for stopping by if you are new here for the first time you are so welcome my name is pamela so here on this channel i share spiritual tips and messages spiritual tips that will be a blessing to you that will transform your life greatly you're doing things rightly follow the instructions by the grace of god you see things working so smoothly in your life all you have to do is just to believe in god almighty have faith that things will work for you have faith that god almighty will pass through these items pass through the messages to be a huge blessing to you to turn things around for you you see things working just like a magic if you love spiritual tips go on and subscribe turn on the bell so that whenever i upload videos you get notified and come and watch so these two items you have to use when you make use of it you will see things transforming greatly what is that thing you are lacking are you always begging people for food are you always begging for one thing or the other are you always lacking in any areas of your life are you always laboring and laboring but nothing is coming out are you earning any very well but you can't be able to enjoy your life like people that are even earning less they are earning lesser than you but the way they live their life they are so happy with their life everything is being provided but you that is any more than you are living as if things are still hard for you at the end of this you see things transforming greatly this particular one will make people that don't know you to favor you. You see favor coming in. You always have to do some sacrifice. Sacrifice, I mean, is not a bad one. Please do not be afraid. Sacrifice of giving. Give out. These are the things that make God happy. If you form the habit of giving out, give out to the needy. Give out to the poor. You will see that God will always supply your needs. And it's going to also make this particular work to be very, very effective. Yes. Anytime you are doing spiritual work or after any prayer that you are believing God to supply your needs. Any kind of prayer that you pray for God to grant your wishes or to, for God to supply your needs and give out after that prayer. You see it working powerfully. I always talk about giving because giving is one thing that helps greatly. There's more blessing to give than to receive. If you are the type that is always receiving and receiving, I want to tell you that you have to form the habit of giving after this. But before we go to that giving aspect, I'm going to show you two things to do. When you do it, you experience total transformation in your life. You will never lack. Get cinnamon, also get honey. Get water. These are the three ingredients. I also include water as an ingredient. And because we cannot do without water in this particular work. Cinnamon powder and honey. So cinnamon comes in stick form, like I always say. It comes in stick form and powder form. Look at the powder. Cinnamon is highly spiritual. Like these are something that attracts wealth. It opens doors. It brings prosperity to you. It makes people that don't like you to start liking you. It attracts your loved ones, like people that you love to yourself. It makes people that hate you to start liking you, to start doing good things to you. Okay, they'll start doing good things for you. People that promise and they are not able to fulfill their promises, you see them doing it, like fulfilling their promises after this. This is not casting a spell upon one, but this is purely natural. It's just a way of removing negative energies, negative powers, tying you down, slowing you, blocking your face, that people are not noticing you. You may be communicating with people, but you will think that, yeah, all is well. But they are actually seeing something else. Something that will make them not to even have mercy on you. Something that will make them not to even show you love. Something that they will look at you, even if you are young. They will be looking at you as if you are very, very old. If you are a very beautiful person or handsome person, they will be looking at you as if you are so ugly. Like, evil ones can cast a spell upon one. That automatically, you that used to look good, you just look so like so ugly so irritating in the eyes of others people that will be coming near you are people of the same sex like instead of opposite sex like if you're a man you see that fellow man will be coming close to you they will be liking you instead of woman to be liking you if you're a woman a lady 
your fellow lady will be liking you. If a guy sees you, they will just look at you as if you are, as, you, as if you are a man. If you go out for a favor, favor will not see you. Favor will not follow you. So, all these are forces. Forces of darkness. Forces of evil powers. Coming from evil kingdom. To torment one. God has blessed you greatly. God has given us the right to be great. To be successful. To be powerful. So, at the end of this, you see that those darkness that covered you, making people not to show you love, we uncover. Those things that has blocked the way for good things to come to you, we, we let go. So, just get these two items, cinnamon and honey. You know honey, honey is sweet. Honey will make people to start liking you. Everything good, everything sweet will be coming your way. God Almighty will show you prosperity. That prosperity you desire. You want to prosper in every areas of your life, right? God will grant you that. It's the God that grants wishes without adding sorrow to it. He grants success with no sorrow attached to it. He grants any good thing you desire without any sorrow at all. So, if you desire grace, grace will locate you. Grace will follow you. Like, when God shows you grace, every other thing will be added onto it. Like when there is grace, you will live in good health. You will live in prosperity. Every good thing will just be coming your way. Success that will not stop. Favor that will not stop. So what you have to do is just to get a hot water. Please do not use ordinary warm water or lukewarm water or cool water. Use a hot water in this particular one. And that is because cinnamon misses well in hot water. Instead of ordinary water. You try it and see it for yourself. Get hot water please. You can put it in a bucket or a bowl. Then you have to add about 2 or 1 tablespoons of cinnamon powder. If you add that cinnamon powder, you have to be praying. Tell God Almighty to open your ways. Make a way where there seems to be no way. To stop every afflictions following you. To remove every spirit of poverty. Any, any spirit of lacking. Put a stop to it. Then you have to put honey after praying that. Place honey. As you are putting that honey, be praying for God Almighty to make your way so sweet. Let people see you and like you and admire you. Admire your work. Admire your business. Love everything about you. Pray from the depth of your heart. And remember that anything you ask God, God will surely grant it for you. As long as your hands are clean. Hands are clean, I mean, is doing things that please God. Okay, keep your ways upright. And there is nothing you ever lack in this life. Everything shall be handed over to you. If you do anything, if you try anything to be working for you. So put two of them, the two items, in water. And start praying, telling God what you want. Declare words into this. Personalize it if you want to personalize it by mentioning your name. After that, you have to stir it. You can use something to stir it because it's hot. Please do not dilute it further. After mixing it, you will not need to add any water anymore. Then, use this water to have your bath. Yes, if you use it to have your bath, you will see favor locating you. Anything you try will be working. So after using it to have your bath, then you can give out. Even if it's just little thing, just give out to somebody that don't have. It can be food, it can be shelter, like accommodating somebody, even if it's temporary. You can give out wears that are no longer wearing, or you can get a new one for that person. A little kindness pays. is going to boost this to make it work powerfully. If you desire any good thing in life, just make sure you give out and you see things working smoothly. So after making use of this, you will notice total change in your life. Like you will be noticing improvement as this goes. You can repeat this as many times as you like. You can also do this anytime, morning or night. God will supply all your needs and you never lack. Grace will follow you always. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video. Put this in your pocket and watch what happens to your enemy. After this, your enemies will shed tears. They will cry. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Alligator pepper is anti-poison. It serves as a protecting item. It protects one from evil. You know, if the enemy wants to poison you or plan to poison you, he has a way of removing it. I'm not talking about long time 
poison that is already there in your body okay you can reduce it or get rid of it but i'm not really sure of it the one i'm very sure is to prevent that poison from penetrating into your body if you are spiritually active no evil will come near you always make sure that you pray without season prayer is everything your faith inviting the power of god in anything you are doing matters very well so if you are the type that you are living a prayerless life depending on only spiritual work things cannot move smoothly even that spiritual work you need to boost it with prayer you know you need to invite a certain power in that spiritual item for it to work you inviting the power that is greater than all power it matters so well in that way you are telling god to take charge of everything and there's no harm will come near you all you have to do is just to keep on praying keep on doing that spiritual work you do and no evil will be for you get alligator pepper okay alligator pepper like i said is a spirit so before you open that bunch you have to open it from the back if you don't open it from the back it can still work but this is the right way to do it open it from the back you can see it on the screen then you have to bring out the quantity of seed that you should use there are different ways to make use of alligator paper